All right. Uh, hi, and thank you for reviewing our submission. Uh, my name is Edward Morgan, um, and I am a data engineer at Raft. Um, so what we decided we wanted to do for our hackathon uh, proposal was to add a feature to Data Hub uh, that we've had requested um, more than once. And that is how do you get from uh, the Data Hub UI, which is this really rich way to visualize and view and search for uh, metadata about a data set. How do you get from there to actually playing with the data? Even if it's in you know, a web or browser-based fashion, how do I get to actually see what is in those data sets? So that's what we did. Um, so just to sort of take you through where we're at, uh, we are deployed on Kubernetes. Um, I'm running locally in Kind, which is Kubernetes and a Docker. Um, and so we've got uh, Kafka up, uh, Elasticsearch, Postgres, um, Superset, and Trino. Um, so Trino and Postgres are where we're sourcing data from. Um, so Trino is, is SQL over everything. Uh, the data sets that we're actually looking for are in Postgres. Um, we ingested them using the Trino plugin, um, and that's how we'll access them. Uh, Superset is uh, it's an Apache open source project, and it provides a really easy way to um, explore your data, to visualize your data. Uh, it has a UI uh, in the browser where you can look at things um, in a SQL editor and then generate charts from those. So. What we wanted to do was have a single click way of going from Data Hub to Superset. Um, so let's say I'm a data user, I'm looking in Trino, um, and there are these two data sets that I'm interested in, these AIS um, data sets from NOAA. Um, we can see the schema um, and you know, maybe some documentation, some properties, some ownership. We know how large they are, um, but if we actually want to visualize them and view them, um, that's where we're adding some, some uh, functionality. Um, so we see up here, we added a new button up to the sidebar of the data set entity uh, to visualize with superset. So if we click that, uh, behind the scenes, what happens is Data Hub is uh, going out. Uh, the front end is calling a mutation that we made um, to go back to Data Hub GMS. Uh, on GMS, it is carrying out a sequence of steps to set up the data connection in Superset to Postgres where the data is actually residing. So um, it's also connecting through Trino uh, to do this. Uh, we use Trino uh, quite heavily um, at Raft, so we figured it would be good to include that in our hackathon. Uh, so the steps that we have to go through for setting up this connection, um, are, it's more than just opening a link with a query. So in addition to taking the information, like the data set name um, and maybe the location, the DNS name, we also have to set up the connection from superset to where the data resides. And we have some information about that uh, in Data Hub coming from the data set name, the data platform name, information that we can include in the deployment, like environment variables for uh, the Data Hub GMS pod, which is how we passed in some information. And that's something that you know, we could expand on um, outside of a hackathon, is how do we pass that in in a more dynamic way? Uh, for example, like using secrets for uh, passing in credentials. So. Uh, from the data user's perspective, we are in Data Hub. We click a button, we're in Superset, we can run a query, and we can see these results. In Superset, you can also do things like uh, create charts, create dashboards, and then view that lineage in Data Hub, which is really nice. And just to just to show that it's uh, that it's not all hard coded, we've got this uh, NOAA 2020 data set. There's also a NOAA 2021 data set. And so we can do the same thing. Uh, and we see that the, the NOAA 2021 data set is what's being selected here. It's reusing the database connection that it set up previously. So it's sort of lazily evaluating that and then um, setting up you know, the sample query and everything from there. Um, so from this, um, we intend to expand upon this to make it a little bit more full featured um, and also for data sources other than Postgres over Trino. 
Um, Trino is nice because it runs SQL over everything, but you know, maybe including other data sources like Kafka um, would be would be useful. But we decided to tie this all into Data Hub because Data Hub is the central way in which people are viewing data sets. Um, and we think that this is a really great addition because it's allowing people to go directly from data set exploration to data exploration. And we think that's really important. Um, so I think that's about all for our hackathon topic. We've, we've pushed our code up and uh, we hope that you guys take a look and that you guys enjoy it. But thank you for giving us the opportunity.